Yo, Marvel. This is Romnito doing a commentary for the matches of me vs. Skits from June 7, 2013. Alright, here we go. Charlie against Rogue. Now, Rogue has the advantage in this matchup. As you can see, she's got much better mobility. And uh, Skits is looking like VDO out there with that opener. Um, of course, I'm going for the Moonsault Slashes. And now I'm going to try to chip him a little bit with Ice Beam and Sonic Break from Charlie. Um, Rogue hits a lot harder than Charlie does. I don't know why I did a random super right there, but as you can see, this is online lag, randomness, whatever. Okay, I get the air combo, but do not combo into bubble because there was some, some lag right there. Freeze throw into bubble, that's always good. Uh, let's see, oh, counter call, I got him. Go for the guard break. Nope, I went for the fake dash under, but Skits is really smart, so he blocked it. Fucked up that combo. Ruby Heart, he's going to DHC into Ry Ryu. And he's going to hit me into the ghost. Now the ghost, if you look, drains the super meter bar. Um, right now it's kind of an even matchup. But he goes for the throw. I tech hit. DHC. But he rolls. Skits, I would say, has the best Ryu. Oh, fuck. Fucking random shit. I think my controller was fucking up right here. Um, I, I don't really remember what happened. This was fucking four years ago. Um, but yeah, hopefully this glitchiness will end soon. Damn, that shit looked painful. Like I said, he has a really good Ryu. And Thanos sucks on point, but that super is really fast. Okay, Thanos versus Ryu. Really stupid random tag, and he punishes it because he's a good player. He does a random tag, but at least he dashed under first to go for a cross-up. Ruby owns fucking Thanos on point. Because her mobility, her zoning, her offensive options, Thanos is free right now. Free like Burger King napkins in this motherfucker. But I'm still going to try to play it out. Thanos' jumping, jump back, hard punch is his best normal. Um, the only thing is it leaves him a little bit open, but it has really good reach and priority. But as you can see, this matchup is super free for skits. Um, see what I'm doing? Jump back, hard punch. That's pretty much all Thanos can do um, besides supers. And plus he has a really good anti-air with Ryu. I, I hit Ryu a little bit, but I, I told you that shit was free. Alright, next match. Alright, now he's going with Felicia, BB Hood, Psylocke. I still have my Team Rom Nito. Uh, let's see. I don't remember what happens in this match, but... Oh, shit! Felicia looking like Magnus with that forced roll wave dash. Uh, too bad he didn't do much after, but but I like that shit. Uh, Felicia's a pretty underrated character. She, she's definitely mid-tier, but she has, some, she has some gimmicks, as you can see here from Skits. Um, all I really want is, is that. Yeah, I want to hit him into the bubble and do an air combo. Um, that's going to go through. Yep, see the priority of that, uh, that litter box super? Shit is pretty good. Okay, so with Charlie, I want to get him into the corner so I can get a throw into his uh, touch of death. Uh, but that'll work too. Psylocke versus Charlie. Psylocke, Psylocke has an advantage in that matchup because, again, she has better mobility. Um, Charlie has better damage output, but I like I like Psylocke in this matchup. Uh, I'm surprised I blocked that dash back launcher from Psylocke because that was quick. Um, right now, see he got Psylocke out of there not only because she was almost dead, but because he could see that was he wasn't playing the matchup very well. Uh, BB Hood is more of a she's a charge character like Guile. Um, she has some really great projectiles. Uh, her damage output isn't great except for her uh, cruel hunting super. And as you can see, uh, Charlie's doing really well in this matchup. Just moonsaulting like a, like a motherfucker. Okay, there we go. Now it's three on one. This match is pretty much over. Um, not that you can't make solo comebacks, because you can. And if anybody can, Skit definitely can. But Felicia by herself cannot do all that much. Right, now he's going with Sakura. Now I will tell you guys, if you've never seen Skits of Sakura, you're definitely in for... Uh, for a treat. Um, I don't remember what happens this match, but he does have a really solid Sakura. Only other guy I know who has a really good Sakura is, uh, what's his name? Neo Karsh from Puerto Rico. See? There he got me with that throw. And Sakura with Psylocke especially is really dangerous because he can do some instant overheads and some, some mix-ups and shit. So as you can see, this is pretty much... Why the fuck did I do that super? Um, so I live myself pretty open. Um, Thanos versus Sakura is not a good matchup, that's why I did the tag. Um, Iceman can fight Sakura. His only, uh, down- holy fuck, see I'm getting thrown like crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, 
Iceman can't do a lot of damage versus Sakura because she has a small hitbox. God damn, I got thrown three times in like five seconds. Um, see, even if he hits her with the super, she's small, so she doesn't get hit by much. Holy fuck. Told you his Sakura is no joke. Definitely has a godlike Sakura. See, he's hitting my assists. Fucking playing her like she's a god tier. Then again, Dark Sakura is upper mid. Um, she has really good damage output. Her Shinkua Dukin does fuck is instant and does crazy damage and then he was gonna go for a throw right there but he faked me out and went for the overhead with Psylocke look at that fucking super that shit was free god damn I told you guys this Sakura is a beast I don't know who the fuck that girl is but anyway so now he's going back to rogue um I'm keeping my same team uh, just so you guys know out there I can use other mid-tier characters besides Charlie and Iceman um I don't really count Thanos because he's more just of an assist but um this is when i play against really high level mid-tier players like skits or steps or video or uh magus old or derek learn slow i tend to go with my best mid-tier team um because really i gotta give myself the, my best chance i can to win i mean yeah i could fucking pick um i could pick Jin and Ken and fucking uh, Sabretooth, right? And I know how to do combos with those characters, but chances are I'm not going to do that well against uh, somebody like a Skits or a VDO or a Magus Old or Steps because they they are on a really high level with their mid-tiers. So, goddamn, I don't know. As I'm explaining that whole thing, my Charlie's getting fucked up. And now, see, now you notice Rogue did the snap out and it hit her also because when, when her punch went through Iceman... The ice balls hit her. But it really doesn't matter because she's clearly fucking dominating this match. Thanos is not going to do shit against a decent rogue. Um, as you can see, his only hope is to do a random super or a DHC out. Uh, as you can see, I did a random super. Luckily, she didn't punish me before I recovered. But goddamn, Thanos, Thanos at least did a little something right there. But okay, we got Iceman. I want this combo, but I fuck it up. I should have just done a launcher to super right there. Um, I can still win this match. This is going to hurt. This might kill. Yeah, okay, good. But his Ryu is fucking good. I'm not joking. Just like his Sakura, you guys are going to see. His Ryu knows how to fucking play. See with the tick throw? Okay, but I got the tech hit, which is good. Oh, he's, he's fucked. Uh, see, a lot of people think Ryu sucks in this game, and he's, he's really not that great. But look at him. Fucking skits playing like uh, Daigo in this bitch. So yeah, <laughs> Ryu's not a great character, but Skits makes him look good. Um, that's a sign of a great player. Okay, now as you can see, Skits' versatility going with Venom and Silver Samurai in this match. Uh, I switched up to Iceman first because I really want to get that combo into Bubble and then the uh, car cancel into Arctic Attack. Um, and Thanos has a pretty big hitbox, so he would take a lot of damage from the super. Um, that, fucking, that fucking Venom Fang move is so good. It's always been good. Um, ever since Marvel 1, that move's been good, but um, I'm trying to keep him away a little bit until I can frustrate him enough to maybe get him into a bubble. He's going to rush me down because um, Venom is, is a pretty quick character with certain moves. See, he just comboed two crouching jabs, which I didn't even know was possible. Oh, if you guys noticed, this reset sequence from Venom was in Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Online Highlights Volume 5, which just came out recently and is, uh, I consider it my best video, but now I'm fucking him up. Alright Venom, back to Marvel 1. Uh, anyway, Silver Samurai is coming out. Now Silver Samurai is another character that people think really sucks, but he actually doesn't. Um, he can do a lot of chip damage. He has a pretty good instant overhead. And um, his lightning super, this shit, is really great for assist punishing. And it can do like upwards of 70 hits, uh, especially versus big characters. Um, but yeah, Char Charlie's doing work in this match. Um, I'm probably going to go for the dash under or no guard break. But he could punish right here. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. Okay, so he went comboed into Ryan Meekin. But the problem is, when Silver Samurai is close to someone after doing Ryan Meekin, he leaves himself somewhat vulnerable. So I, I took that match. Let's see what he got next. Okay, he's going with Hulk. Again, more versatility. Hulk, Juggernaut, Colossus. Um, I think this might be Team Steroids. Or maybe Team Steroids if you have Sentinel. I'm not sure. But either way, this team does a lot of damage per hit. Um, I have a feeling I'm probably going to lose this match. Uh, look at that. Fucking 30% life from two hits. Um, the reason why I picked this team is because if I do the combo of... Um, oh, shit. Nice tech hit. 
See, I'm trying to explain shit and then more shit is happening. Uh, that's a tough thing about commentating. So I chose this team because I want to do the Psylocke air combo to Butterflies, DHC into Gamma Crush, and now we'll do the double Gamma Crush glitch, which is insane damage, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Oh shit, snap! Oh my god, how the fuck did he block that? That was like a triple cross-up. Anyway, uh, so when, when Colossus powers up, you really can't do any air combos on him. And his defense is already like the second or third best in the game, so he's pretty scary when he's powered up. Uh, VDO uses that really well too. Um, so Thanos versus Colossus, this is a pretty even matchup. I mean, Thanos can't really make too much ground on Colossus, but at least he won't get hurt too much um, if you play smart, but that shit hurts. Uh, man, I feel like I'm playing against uh, Magus Old, uh, or rather Skips getting, um, Steps getting hit by that combo. Um, see, so my Hulk is really not that good, as you can see. Um, I'm definitely getting outclassed right now by his Hulk, but that cross-up was actually good shit. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm just kind of going all out right here, because I got nothing to lose. I'm, I'm Hulk against Juggernaut Thanos. He definitely has the advantage, but... I'm trying to do my best impression of steps right now, and uh, yeah, I'm not winning this match. There is no fucking way I'm winning this match. He's just fucking with me right now, because he's powered up, and he's just walking forward doing jabs. There's not much I can do. Okay, now I'm going back, um, seeing what I can do with my main team. This is what I'm talking about. When you play against high-level, mid-tier players, you might as well play your best team, because otherwise, they're going to do what, what he did to me in that last match. Now, of course, I want to get Juggernaut in there. So I can get him with this combo. Um, this combo does really good damage against big characters, as you can see. Got him with the throw again. But I really want to get his Juggernaut, because the Juggernaut assist uh, is probably, I think, the third most damaging assist in the game. Oh, what was I saying? See, I got Juggernaut. But see, he got me with the throw. Thankfully, he didn't get the OTG. But um, that Juggernaut assist is going to fuck me up if I don't kill him. See, he got me with the throw again. Get is one of the best at throwing. Um, oh, that might get him. Yeah, so as you can see, his Juggernaut's almost dead, but if he's smart, so he brings in Colossus. Um, I really just want that freeze throw. That, that's my main strategy with um, Iceman. A lot of people play keep away with Iceman, and sometimes I do some chip with him too, but honestly, his most, his most effective offensive tool is his air combo into Kara Cancel Arctic Attack. It's actually one of the most damaging mid-tier combos in the game. Um, but let's see, Charlie against Colossus. Obviously the damage output is on is in Colossus's favor, but all Charlie needs is pretty much one conversion, but goddamn he's getting fucked up. No, this, this Colossus is playing way too smart right now. He's probably gonna guard break me. Okay, he went for it, but it didn't work. That shoulder tackle has godlike priority. It goes through a lot of projectiles, and it leaves him still safe. But goddamn, see what I mean? I should've killed Juggernaut. Fuck, see I'm getting fucked up. Oh shit, will I kill him? No, because Colossus blocked the second powerball. I told you this guy's good, man. He's fucking... I mean, I, I could have killed Juggernaut, but he still won the match. Okay, you see another new team from Skits. Uh, Dalzine War Machine Cyclops. Cyclops it has invincible startup for his anti-air assist. Um, and Dalzim has godlike range, but fuck that. I got this air combo on Dalzim. Okay, see what I mean about Iceman when you get the air combo into the car cancel? I'm really doing well this match, but that that's tough to block what he just did. Okay, he's dead. But but good. He did a um alpha counter in to get War Machine in there. Let's see if he has a higher War Machine. Okay, he goes for the reset. He push blocks, so I got the guard break into bubble, and I hit both of his characters with the car cancel. Um, so this is really a good exhibition for Iceman. It shows you what he can do offensively. And this is a really uphill battle now for Skits. Not that he can't win, but it would be very tough. He'd have to pull out some fucking Japanese combos with uh, with his Dalzim. Uh, but his Dalzim is really good. Oh shit. You know what? This motherfucker, this highlight is in Online Highlights Volume 5 too. You guys remember this. This is, this is the finale highlight at the very end of the video. Look at that shit. Skits coming through in the clutch. He's gonna go for the guard break, but I did a snap out to fuck up his momentum. Now, we, we all know Cyclops can make comebacks. Um, you know, of course, the famous uh, Justin Wong comeback versus Yipes at Evo. But really, he just has godlike priority. But thankfully, higher Charlie coming through. Um, Dalzim's gonna come in. I go for the guard break, doesn't work. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take this match, but def definitely good shit to Skits because um, his Dalzim is fucking godlike.
All right, going back to Rogue. Um, Rogue is one of the best mid-tier characters in the game. So is Ruby Heart. They both have great mobility. Ruby Heart can put a lot of shit on the screen, which makes it tough to fight against her. Um, let's see. Uh, Rogue matches up really well against Iceman. Um, because, again, like Iceman can get her with his air combo, but it won't do a ton of damage because she's not a big character. And look at that shit. This is what I'm talking about. Um, Rogue just has a lot of options, and with the Ruby Heart Assist, it bounces the character up in the air, which allows her to do cross-ups, and see, I'm getting fucked up. So, now you got a 3 versus 2 matchup. Charlie Thanos is gonna have a tough time against this team. He can still take it, but I gotta get some clean hits landed. And right now, he's just trying to mix me up a lot, and that, that Ryu Assist is really underrated. Um, I have to respect it, basically. Okay, so the Charlie, the, uh, Crossfire Bliss, it just hit the Assist, it hit Ryu, and it froze him temporarily that's that's a glitch see i tried it again there well i didn't try it i just did a random super for some reason see sometimes when you play against really good players really smart players you do things uh stupid things that you wouldn't normally do um and right now he's definitely taking the charge in this match um he's pretty much blocking all my bubbles which really limits my offensive options and it makes me a lot more predictable if he knows he doesn't even have to worry about my bubbles uh that's kind of funny this match is not looking good for me right now. Uh, I pretty much have to do some sort of godlike combo with Charlie, like maybe a mid-screen relaunch. Um, but no, his Ruby Heart is way too good. Uh, see what I mean? <laughs> and he, I'm lucky he missed that OTG, but that sublimation move, that, that vertical water move from Ruby Heart is one of the most godlike special moves in this game. And I'm done now, because that ghost is going to hit and I'm going to lose meter. See my meter going down? A lot of people don't know that, uh, that her, her ghost steals meter. That was good shit, though. See, that move steals life, uh, red life, and gives it to Thanos. But, no, nah, this, unless this is Marvel superheroes and Thanos is gonna fucking reverse my, reverse my opponent's inputs, then that shit is not gonna work. Look at that, a fucking little mini fireball slows down a fucking huge powerball. Thanos is so fucking nerfed in this game. Okay, now he's going with Cammy. Uh, Cammy, as most people know, is one of the quickest uh, characters in the game. I mean, her ground dash is faster than Magneto's ground dash. Um, of course, she's not as good as Magneto, but she does have some, some good options. Like, um, she has her throw resets. She has a Killer B Assault, which does good damage. He just went for a throw reset there. It didn't work. Thank God. That, that saved uh, Iceman's life. Um, I got Charlie in there with a nice DHC. Um, damage wasn't great, but that's okay. Um, Cammy versus Charlie is kind of a toss-up. Um, Charlie has better defense, and Charlie has better offensive options as far as his combos, but Cammy is a lot quicker, and her throws are really tricky. Um, and plus she has that double jump, which helps her for evasion. But, I don't know, I, I kind of like... Fuck it, I, I like me in this matchup. I think I can take this. I just have to get some combos into bubbles, as, as I always say. Um, I'm blocking pretty well in this match, at least before that point. <laughs> um, okay, I could still win this, yeah. Good, okay, she's dead. I should bring in Iceman now. Good, see? I, I don't even remember this match, but I knew I would do that. Um, okay, so I gotta stop running into fucking Ryu Assist, because that's really fucking my shit up. Now he has an advantage, because Thanos is coming in. Anytime Thanos is coming in on this team, you know you did something wrong. Unless it's the DHC that you meant to do, but goddamn. Jill is fucking me up right now. Okay, Jill, um, again, she's sort of a, she's an average mid-tier character, but she has options. Look at that shit. He's doing dash hunters and fake dash hunters. Now, people might say, oh, how, ca how come you can't just block a launcher? Just hold back. It's because Skits is really fucking smart. Goddamn, I'm lucky I didn't get hit by that whole thing. Skits did fake dash hunters to make it look like he was going to go to the other side, but really he didn't. See, same shit there, but that time he really did cross me up. So for all you people saying just hold back and don't get hit by those launchers, no, you'll get crossed the fuck up. Alright, here we got M. Bison, Sabretooth on Commando. Now, he probably picked a projectile assist for Sabretooth, yep. Because that's really good for locking the opponent down, putting them in block stun. See, that time I dashed the block under launcher, so fuck everybody who's saying I can't block. Um, Commando's obviously one of the best assists in the game. Uh, really high vertical coverage and really quick startup and good damage. About as much damage as a rocket punch, I think. Um, and M. Bison is going to try to put a lot of shit on the screen uh, with Sabretooth and also with his little orb projectiles. Um, this is not working out too well for me. <laughs> He's pretty much toasted shit on a shit bun right now. And Charlie's coming in going to have to be a miracle worker. 
um, because this shit is not good. See, you can see Bison is actually a decent character. Um, he's not the quickest or one of the quickest, but he has pretty decent cross-ups um, with his little uh, scissor kick. And his air combo, his basic air combo to Psycho Crusher does good damage. He, he has a good tick throw. Look at that fucking rush down with the jabs and the, and the saber tooth bullets or the birdie bullets. Um, so I'm getting fucked up. I don't have much of a chance. I, again, I need some sort of miracle to win. Oh no, fuck it. Thanos is coming in solo. He's not winning this shit. Um, I know people say never give up and believe me, I know about never giving up. You know, like when I made that ridiculous comeback against Focus when I was down 9-4 to four in that money match and I won, but I didn't have Thanos in that money match. I have fucking Magneto Storm Psylocke. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm gonna fight it out. I, I never put the controller down until it's over, but that shit was free. Extra free. Shit was free like samples in Costco. Alright, he's going with Team Shoto. I'm going with my uh, Team Romnito. Um, I think I can win this match, but it won't be easy because his Shoto is good. See, I go for the instant overhead with Iceman, but I couldn't combo anything past that. God damn, look at that. Half-Life gone. Uh, Akuma uh, is, I would say, he's the best Shoto offensively uh, just because of his damage output. But Ken is a better all-around character because he has better defense. Oh, that was a smart DHC. But I'm still not doing great. His Akuma has only lost like 30% life and my Iceman's almost dead. Um, I gotta watch out for that Ryu assist. Uh, just some advice to you players out there. Oh good, see I blocked the cross. Um, some advice um, against anti-air assist. Whether it's Ryu or Commando or whoever. Make sure that you bait it out and then punish it with a super or something. Don't just keep attacking like I'm doing. Look at that, fucking double Shinko Aduken. That was smart shit. Um, Charlie vs. Ryu, I can win this matchup, but I have to play smart, um, I can't just run into shit like I've been doing. Um, I gotta watch out for that Ken assist too, that's one of the most godlike assists in this game. It has startup invincibility, uh, let's see. So, I'm trying to sort of zone him with Ice Beam, because if he throws fireballs, Ice Beam will go right through the fireballs, but Iceman's dead now, so I wasn't playing too smart. I can still do some shit though, see I wanted to throw, but he got the throw. Um, okay, so I'm using Moonsault to rush down, but obviously, um, uppercuts beat Moonsaults. Uh, that's probably always been the case, even since the old school Street Fighter days. Um, that was smart shit. <coughs> Another highlight from Online Highlights Volume 5. I stood up to block, and I got killed by chip damage. There wasn't much I could do in that situation. Alright, now he's going with Dan. Dan is a character you rarely see used in this game, but he has some weapons too. One thing a lot of people don't realize, a lot of characters can be used effectively in this game. It's not just the top 8 or whatever that can be used. Look at that. That was a pretty good assist punish. Even though it didn't do a lot of damage, it fucked me up a little bit. Okay, he's going to keep calling that Ken anti-air because it's pretty much better than any assist I have right now. Um, so that's the thing about this team, my team. I don't have great assist priority. It's really a combo reliant team. I pretty much have to get hits into bubble to be effective. Um, Ice Beam is good for Chip, but it doesn't have great priority. Um, it's just a fast startup super. I mean, uh, assist. But yeah, so he's basically um, using his BB Hood assist, and he's basically just trying to fuck me up right here. A better priority, but I'm getting him out because he's almost dead. Iceman definitely has an advantage versus Dan, just for the damage output, but Dan has some shenanigans, especially with that BB Hood assist. Oh, Iceman took it to the house with that shit. Alright, Iceman vs. BB Hood, kind of a strange matchup, because again, BB Hood has such a small hitbox that she won't take a lot of damage. Holy fuck, she fucked him up. Um, Thanos, Thanos ain't winning this match. Um, BB Hood is too damn small and too damn tricky, plus she has a fucking invincible anti-air assist. Thanos needs a fucking miracle. And that's, that soul super was good, but it's not doing it. Um, again, Thanos' down hard punch, down, down hard kick in the air is a really useful move. Uh, you just gotta use it strategically. Um, I really don't give a fuck at this point, that's why I'm doing them random air titan crushes. Um, yeah, I know I'm not winning, but I'm still gonna fight it out. Uh, that, that move is actually a decent move too. Standing hard punch, that normal is pretty good. Uh, but Thanos is just hoping for a miracle right now. Uh, random super, I don't know how that hit, but how the fuck did I kill BB Hood? I don't know, but I'll take it. Um, Ken, for Ken, this is free lunch. Shit is fucking like a uh, free buffet right there. Alright, so Skits took that one. Okay, Skits is going back with Felicia. Let's see what he could do with the with the cat girl from Darkstalkers. I'm um, going with Charlie. See what I got. Uh, I don't know why I jumped over and did nothing. 
Uh, but yeah, Charlie uh, Charlie has the advantage in this matchup, but um, he has the uh, Ryu anti-air assist, and he has those godlike dash uh, tick tick normal attack, which he's going with. All I really want is a combo into bubble. Um, okay, I don't know why I did that. Uh, the BB hood projectile is um, is basically like an exploding sonic boom. That's what my friend uh, Ace, aka Taji, think told me a while ago. Um, okay, so now he does a litter box super, good priority, and then he goes to the, I forget that one, the grandma super. Um, look at that Ryu assist just fucking me up. See, I'm not playing smart, I just keep getting hit by shit. Alright, Cruel Hunting, one of the best projectile supers in the game. Easy to combo into too. Oh, I'm glad I blocked that cross up. Okay, I got this. This should kill him. I'm probably going to DHC to Thanos. No, I actually wouldn't have killed him. Um, but Iceman is playing good right now, and I blocked that cross up. See if I can get another combo. No, but that would have been the death of Ryu. See, he's good with the throws. I keep telling you guys. Uh, Shinko Adukin. He went for the dash back again, but I'm I'm dashing back too. I could do that shit too. Where's my fucking tech hit? <laughs> Getting fucked up. Oh my god! With the on reaction dragon punch again, looking like Daigo. Okay, Thanos's throw doesn't do much, but I'll take it. All right, BB Hill wants to get her revenge right here. Let's see what she can do. Pretty much all I can do with Thanos is jump back hard punch and do that air titan crush. Not a smart move to do that move on the ground. This is, so I hope you guys out there can learn something. All you aspiring Thanos players, do not do fucking titan crush down forward hard punch with Thanos on the ground. Because it leaves him way too vulnerable. Okay, he's going back with Sabretooth Silver Samurai. This should be an interesting one. Um, he does have a really dangerous Sabretooth, and uh, you guys know I have a pretty good Iceman, so this will be a good matchup. Um, Sabretooth is, of course, nothing compared to his X-Men vs. Street Fighter incarnation, but he could still do some good shit. Um, I go for the free throw, just because I felt like it. Um, Iceman can't do much with free throw in the air. I mean, he can't combo afterwards, but... Okay, I'm glad he didn't get out of that. Uh, good tech hit right there. Um, Sabretooth wants to do an uh, air combo into flying screen and then maybe a mix-up, uh, or he wants to get me with the birdie glitch later on in the match, but look at this shit, higher Sabretooth, he's probably going to try to kill that assist, but no, the, the, um, the, uh, the spacing was off on that. Um, Sabretooth is looking pretty good with the rushdown, again, I need a combo into bubble in order for me to win this one. Oh, he goes for the throw, did not expect that. Um, <coughs> my Charlie's looking really out of it right now. Um, I don't have much of a chance of winning this match, but again, I'm always going to fight for it. And I, I, I advise everyone out there to, to, to not give up until the very end. Uh, fuck. Why does Thanos always get in this fucking position? <laughs> One on three? This, this shit is tough. But hey, at least I got my random soul super to take 5% life uh, for no reason. But yeah, no, Psylocke, Psylocke eats Thanos for breakfast. Oh, we got the DHC glitch right there. We saw the, the dual character image on the um, expanded uh, character portrait. Uh, Silver Samurai, one of the few times you'll ever see him win in this game. <laughs> Except for when Skits is using him. Alright, Zangief, another, uh, this is a, he's a low tier character. Um, they usually don't see people use, but Skits knows how to use him. Alright, that's a, that's a cross up right there, that belly flop. And... Let's see, Zangief with Juggernaut Assist is pretty fucking scary, as you will see. Um, I got him with the air throw, but of course he tech hits, because he fucking tech hits everything. Um, not a good move, because as you can see, I'm about to get fucked up. Yeah, okay, I'm lucky. Oh, he's going to do the cross-up. This is again from Online Highlights Volume 5. God damn. Gets us like a one-man highlight reel. Look at that fucking damage. I keep telling you guys. Juggernaut Assist. Look at fucking Thanos. He's, he's done. He didn't even get out on the field yet, and he's done. And see, there was a fuck up. That's what. Oh, I could get him. He should die right here. He should fucking die. There's a god. He died yet. Yeah. All right, now I need to get Juggernaut into the freeze bubble, but he got me with the throw. All I want is a fucking free throw. Iceman's gonna block. Okay, I don't even need the free throw. Look at that fucking damage. This is why I tell you, Iceman likes to fight against Juggernaut. But now I'm in trouble. He's gonna do super. Yeah. That was a fucking crazy match, and Colossus just stands there like, you're not fucking with me. Yep. Okay, now he's back to Dalzim Cyclops. Um, again, this is going to be a fucking massive nightmare for Iceman, because Iceman has no tri-jumps, no easy overheads, and Dalzim has the best reach in the game. Uh, I don't know why he's not doing anything. Uh, maybe, he was, maybe his controller wasn't working or something, I don't know. 
Anyways, um, Dalzim also can continuously teleport. I think I saw somebody say once that he can teleport for the whole match, just keep teleporting and just keep avoiding shit. Um, but anyways, yeah, I am really out-prioritized right here. But I got lucky and got a hit. So Ruby Heart Cyclops is pretty good too, but all I need is a fucking super, as you can see. I'm going to DHC, but he's smart, so he blocks it. He might snap me. No, he's going to combo into Ghost. Oh, but he didn't work. But look at the fucking continuation he got. Yeah, this time he's going to make me suffer for that shit. He's going to do cross-up. Oh, but I blocked it. Okay, see Ruby Heart? People think Ruby Heart sucks, but nah, check this shit out. <laughs> Him and uh, Josh360 have a really good Ruby Heart. Damn, look at that rushdown. Told you Ruby Heart's godlike. Okay, I fuck up the air combo. I really need to fucking convert into some kind of decent combo right here. Um, but he has godlike priority with the Cyclops assist, arguably the best assist in the game, and Ruby Heart. Oh, but he fucks up the combo. It's a rare combo fuck up for Skits. His execution is really on point. Um, yeah, Thanos is done. I could still win this though, maybe not. <laughs> not when you're going. Now, he did a Tiger Knee uh, Gene Splice with Cyclops. That goes like three quarters of the screen distance. And it's fucking way too broken. So he's picking the same team again, so maybe I'll actually not get scraped this time. Let's see. Okay, I don't know why I did crouching low kick when he has Cyclops assist. That shit beats everything. Shit out prioritizes life. Um, okay, let's see. Cyclops, yeah. That Dalzine is really smart. Um, he's gonna fly around a lot, throw out some yoga flame. Okay, cross up. I mean, he dashed over, and then look at this shit. It's about to be a fun time for him. Not for me, though. Advanced Dalzine combo. He, look at that shit. He can combo after if he gets this. Yeah, I'm, I'm free. Oh shit, and Iceman luckily got the freeze throw, but I really need to get Iceman the fuck out of there. Good. See, that was a good tag because I was safe. Um, I can kill him right here if I get a clean connect. Oh shit, he's gonna DHC. See, he plays way too smart. He doesn't, he doesn't often just let his characters die easily. Okay, that was a smart DHC, but I probably should have done Soul. Nah, it wouldn't have been worth it to do Soul. Okay, see, Sublimation's really fucking good from Ruby. He went for the tick throw right there. He was going to try to throw into assist. Okay. Assist punish, but Ruby Heart's too fucking good. She just anchors through that shit. Not a good move by me. I could have done the flying screen corner combo into Space Gem. And look at that fucking ship cutting right through that bullshit ass Sunny Delight Powerball. And this shit is not good for me right now. He's got fucking a air dashing character with the best assist in the game. And I'm going with fucking Bobby Drake. Yeah, he's free. He's free. Come on, Charlie. Make the comeback. Let's go. Oh, smart of me to go for the snapback, but I didn't have the spacing. Um, I can kill Dalzine with Charlie. That's not impossible, but then I got Ruby Hard and Cyclops. Oh, look at him showing off with the infinite. Oh, with the cross-up infinite. Nice. See, his Dalzine is really advanced. I just want to kill Dalzim at this point. This is one of those points you know you're probably going to lose, but you might as well fucking kill the character that's been fucking your shit up. Oh, see now, if that would have caught both of them, that would have been decent, but... Now, nah, Ruby Heart? Ruby Heart's fucking me up this match. He's going to DHC. No, he didn't even need to. But I... Yeah, I'm getting hit by Cyclops. It's, it's no bueno. Yeah, Ruby Heart has way too many people on her team over there. All them fucking pirates and shit. What is this? Pirates of the Caribbean Part 27? Okay, he's bringing out Wolverine now. Uh, this is Metal Claw, Adamantium Wolverine. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Again, Wolverine has shit defense, but he's a small character. So even if I hit him with Iceman, I'm not going to do a lot of hits with the super. His throws are godlike. And Skits is automatically godlike with throws. He's going to do Tornado Claw. Um, yeah, Wolverine is, I think, the second or third fastest character as far as ground dashing in the game. Um... And uh, he's actually pretty underrated. If people remember Joe Zaza, uh, definitely he had the best Wolverines of all time. Uh, but Skits is pretty good too. Oh, he did the fake Drill Claw in the corner. The corner erased the Drill Claw. But I am getting fucking bodied this match. Come on, man. Gotta do something. No, I'm free this match. I am fucking free. Now look, again, Thanos by himself against three characters. You guys are gonna see how free this shit is. I'll do Super. I might get a little something, but... Actually, yeah, I got the assist. And he got fucking Wolverine. Goddamn, Thanos doing some shit. Okay. Oh my god, with the jumping jab guard bag. I didn't even think that shit worked. I forgot about that. Um, Psylocke eats Thanos for breakfast. I already told you guys. 
This shit is super free. Shit is super free gum right now. Shit is free like a subway transfer. And Colossus is just like, you like this shit is too free. Yeah. Okay, we got Jin, Iceman, Juggernaut. Um, we only got a few more matches left on this commentary, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to do more of these commentaries. Um, Charlie fights against Jin really well. Uh, Jin hits pretty hard, uh, but Charlie definitely has better combo potential and a lot better mobility. Uh, but again, he has that fucking juggernaut assist. Look at that shit. It does way too much life. Okay, he really wants to combo into the tornado super, because if he does, I'm, I'm dead. He, what did I say? What the fuck did I say? I told you that shit does half life. Um, yeah, I'm getting... I told you guys, this shit is too good. Four hit combo. Uh, killed me. He might fucking OC free me with Jin. My god, don't let that shit happen, please. Yeah, I'm, I might get OC freed right now. You see, know, OCV means one character victory. It means you kept your main character in for the whole match and won. And I am getting fucked right now. Jesus Christ. Come on, Thanos. We need a fucking miracle in this shit. At least I blocked that. Yeah, no, I am free. He's gonna OC free me with Jin. God damn. Steps, I know you're liking this shit right now because I know Jin's one of your best characters. All right, Hayato. Shoutouts to Rapple Ross. Uh, let's let's see what skits can do with Hayato. Uh, I like my chances in this match though because I got I forgot I picked Doctor Doom. Uh, Iceman with Doom is really godlike for chip damage and also you can do the freeze throw into the rocks and then do Arctic Attack. That was really fucking smart, that uppercut into the um, the Sphere Super. He really wants to do the level 3 Black Hayato Super, but I'm, I'm not going to let that shit happen, at least not this time. Um, he's playing really smart with Hayato overall though, but that shit's going to hurt. He's going to try to get him out of there unless he just... Yeah, see, I told you guys. Skits doesn't let his characters die easily. Um, Colossus against Iceman, it can go either way. Um, Colossus does more damage per hit, but... Uh, never mind. Iceman's dead. <laughs> uh, Charlie, tough matchup for Charlie. Um, but he... See, you, like, you, you guys see that flying screen um, switch sides combo? That's a really flashy technical combo. That's the type of shit that Skits likes to do. Um, I am getting fucking destroyed. God damn. Okay, Doctor Doom is a really good point character. Um, people think he's only good for assists, but I'm not World Machu, so you're not gonna see a one versus three comeback. <laughs> uh, shit, I'm getting fucked up right now. I would like to do something before I get killed, though. Random super. Look at that shit. His those photons touched his motherfucking boots, and he went through that shit. Shit is too good. Okay. Alright, this might be the last match or second to last match. We got uh, Ruby, Ryu, and Amingo. Amingo's another underrated character. But Ruby Heart, yeah, she is the fucking bane of my existence in mid-tiers. Because she's way too motherfucking good. Um, I'm, again, I'm really, I'm really wanting to get a throw into the rocks. Um, so I can merc this pirate, this French-Japanese pirate. But uh, I don't really think that's going to happen. Because he's playing way too smart right now. He's going to DHC into Tatsu Super and I'm free. But Charlie Doom is, is nothing to joke about either. I mean, you could do a lot of chip with the rocks and the moon salts and the sonic booms, but I gotta be able to set it up first. And oh, it looks like I might. But I gotta watch out for that Ryu assist. Again, guys, when you're playing Marvel 2, especially if you're kind of new to the game, you gotta watch out for really good anti-air assists because they will fuck you up. Oh, with the snap out, okay. Okay, I brought in the Cactus Man. See if I can fuck him up. I don't really remember what Skip does with Amingo because I don't see him using much. But okay, so this is what Charlie wants to do when he has Doom Assist. He wants to kind of play it like a like a like a bootleg Strider Doom, where you put a lot of shit on the screen, like a lot of Sonic booms and Moon Salts and Doom Rocks, and just hope that your opponent gets frustrated. That was an execution error. Obviously, I didn't want to snap back. I gotta watch out though because Doom is almost dead. It was kind of cool how that Sonic Boom hit. Um, He's not doing much with the Mingo right now. Uh, it's, it's a tough matchup for him because he doesn't have uh, much to do against um, Doom Assist. But I'm in trouble now. Again, Doom by himself. Come on, Machu. Help me out here. <laughs> if you're watching this, uh, think positive thoughts for me because I still got Doom with three levels almost. So, Oh, big cross-up. But I fucked up the super. Actually, this is the same stage that World Machu made the Dr. Doom 295% comeback against uh, Vegeta X with in the grand finals of the Xbox Live tournament. So maybe that'll help me. Oh, why did she tag in all the way across the screen? He should have been closer to me. I can still take this. I can still take this shit. Oh, 
Did I get it? Did I get it? Oh, fuck. I thought I had that shit. I got him down to one pixel. Damn. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. If you want to see more of these, just let me know. Uh, if anything, just post it in a, as a comment. Say what you think about the commentary. Um, and tell me if there's any particular matches you want to see me do commentary of. Even if it's like a highlight video you want to see or um, fucking any of my videos. Just let me know.